is brain atrophy. Um, it sounds scary. Yeah, it does sound scary, doesn't yeah. it? Um, so first of all, I want to point out that, mm. you know, severe decline in general cognitive function in MS is rare. Yeah. Um, atrophy of any tissue means the loss of cells. So in brain tissue, atrophy describes the loss of neurons and the connections between them. And the pattern and the rate of progression of atrophy depends on um, the disease involved. But brain atrophy does and is seen in um, MS. Um, many diseases that cause atrophy are associated with progressive impairment in cognitive function. However, research suggests that the negative impact of brain atrophy on cognitive functions like memory and attention can be lessened by engaging in stimulating activities that build what scientists refer to as cognitive reserve. Now, research shows that people with higher levels of cognitive reserve, when compared to people with low reserve, that they can sustain a higher degree of neural lesions before the appearance of um, the first symptoms of cognitive decline. So essentially, scientists theorize that individuals with higher cognitive reserve can activate um, more efficient and more flexible networks than individuals with low cognitive reserve. So in short, what this means is that individuals with high reserve, that they can actually recruit alternate networks um, in cases where there's brain lesions or neurological disease. Mm -hmm. So based on the factors associated with individuals who have high cognitive reserve and um, people with MS will benefit from getting physically active, staying socially engaged and challenging their brains. So something like going to the gym, releasing more endorphins and yeah, I mean, like that. yeah, like. yeah, I mean, um, you know, um, activity, physical exercise is, um, it's associated, it, it has direct impact on the structure and the function of your brain. Mm. So your brain is the biggest consumer of nutrients and oxygen. Mm. Um, so by the, engaging in, in, in exercise, that ensures that you're giving it enough oxygen and um, uh, nutrients to say, to, you know, to function at its best.